Hey there everyone, Renick Brian here. I thought I'd do a quick video and a little bit of progress report on the uh, former 4x2, Crossman 4x2. Yes, you heard me right, it will be the former Crossman 4x2. As of right now, I'm only going to put one transaxle in. It's going to be going approximately right here. I already have um, two bolts at the top, those two square ones right there. That one there, I was originally going to mount it to that hole right there. But uh, these two with the square opening lining up perfectly with my existing brackets, which I'll use. So my plan is if I decide to put a second uh, transaxle in here, it won't be a second transaxle. It's going to be a chain drive. And what I'm going to do is run the chain drive from the back up towards the front, almost to the uh, stock location right around this area here, right where, as you can see, the line and the steel. That's where the uh, two sections of frame came together. This section here came out of the original roper. It's the uh, entire back half, pretty much. Um, I made a screw up when I cut these out right here, but they, they actually did help out a little bit because um, when I had to stick my hand through and do some adjusting with the belt, it actually did help. So it was a pro and con to doing that. And this entire back half, you can read that right there, 5 speed is the original 5 speed that I had that uh, was actually the front half to it sitting up there on my trailer. So I made some pretty good progress on here. Uh, it's, it's coming along. I got to cut off the original tranny mounts which are actually holding on pretty good. That's my first attempt, real attempt at uh, welding right there, like doing something that would be structural. They haven't failed. So. Surprisingly, those brackets are still strong. Unfortunately, I'm going to have to cut them off at the bottom, uh, flat with the uh, bottom frame rail, but uh, they're strong still. So, other than that, this frame here is held up fairly well. It's pretty rusty. Uh, nothing, nothing major, no holes through it because it is galvanized. has that coating on it. So, And the main heavy steel isn't too bad. I got rust paint, so I'm just gonna I'm just gonna grind it a little. I'm just gonna do a little bit of grinding on it, and I'm gonna shoot it with black spray paint. And my goal today is to hopefully have this entire back half, all the outside welding done, the new transmission in place. It's not going to be that um, MST 206. It's going to be a Peerless six speed. I'd love to find an 820 for this eventually. Maybe I will. But the only problem is with the 820s, the one inch axles, I gotta find, um, I don't think I'll have enough tire clearance. It's the only downside. Also, this front piece right here, I got the piece of steel to go across here. I got some round stock. Hopefully, you can hear me over the wind and the air conditioner. I got some round stock so I can work on my uh, brake rod and I'm gonna build a whole new shifting rod. Um, here is my old shifting rod. And yeah, that actually, that worked out perfectly fine. There was no adjustments in this rod at all. I know Murray Mayhem uh, is working on his Gator tractor, and he was mentioning how he has to adjust it periodically. When I had both transaxles working on this, I never had to adjust this thing at all. It worked perfectly. So I don't, I don't know, it's just maybe different with the transmissions, maybe you're using mismatched transmissions, I'm not sure. But uh, when I had this thing going, and I did have the four-wheel drive working all last winter, that's when I had the four-wheel drive working. Um, this this rod was perfectly fine. Nothing was misadjusted. Everything worked fine. So I guess some some setups work up work out a little bit better. But uh, other than that, um, I will be pulling the engine uh, probably tomorrow. I have uh, all rest of the day today, which is Saturday. I have all Sunday and I have all of Monday. And then next week, I'm hoping to just to paint this. I don't need this for work at all, which is good. I got a loaner trailer, which I'll use the, uh, the uh, mean and green with. And also, I'm going to be doing the front, the front supports like I did on the other tractor as well. So I'm going to try and get finished up. There's dogs out next door. So yeah, that's a quick progress report. So I'll talk to everyone later. Please keep it redneck like always, and uh, don't get your antlers stuck in your steering wheel.